Hi, uh, this is an interview we're doing with Jason Cross. <laughs> Jason Cross is a man of God first and foremost. Amen. And he has a heart for God and he has a heart for God's kingdom. And he wants to use his creativity to advance the kingdom on earth. One of Jason Cross's new projects is called The Calling. And The Calling is a book that he made, and he's looking also to make it a film. And I'd like to do an interview with Jason. Hello, Jason. How are you today? Hello. And it's his calling. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Jason. <laughs> My lawyers will be in touch. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. O o only Jesus is perfect. I apologize for that. <laughs> At least he's got a sense of humor about it. You know, he, he, as you see, he's got joy, and he's always smiling. Amen. Now, Thank could, you, Jesus. And, and praise God. Oh, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about his calling? It sounds like, you know, because God has a calling for each of us in our lives, mm -hmm. and a lot of people never reach that calling and never hear God's voice. What, what is his calling really about in a, in a nutshell? His calling is about three women that have been called upon God to do his will. Um, it's a cross between uh, Charlie's Angels and Joan of Arcadia, where he, he basically he gives them a message, but not details of what they need to do. They need to figure that out by listening listening through prayer and through um, research and using the skills that God gave them to figure out what his will is and to get it done. Uh, the main um, thing I'm trying to with this film is that you know God always listens and God sometimes sends people instead of saying angels to come and help us that he sends people that come into our lives and that's the main um, theme of the book that people come and they, they come and help other people according to what God wants because God listens and answers prayers. Praise God. She's saying that God can send people as angels, not necessarily angels from heaven, but God uses people to be angels. Yes, to, to uh, influence our lives and to help us through difficult situations. And there's a, and these girls in the, the book, there's a time in their life where they realize finally God is calling them. Yep, God has called them and he's t told them that they have to step away from the lives that they live, the lives that they vote. Like we have a police officer, we have a reporter, and we have a nurse. And they are, he's called them to leave their jobs, to leave everything they've known, to trust in him and to do his work. How do you find yourself as the writer relating to this book? I'm sure you must have had some inspiration on in your own life of answering God's call. Well, it was actually funny because uh, I was talking to my wife about this earlier, about um, how, God, how God works and how he, he pushed me towards this book. I've, I've been a filmmaker now for nine years. Uh, last, for the first seven years, I made a lot of things, some victories, some not. Nothing that really went that far. Then I came to Jesus and... We, we do a thing for our church called Alleyway, which went, did wonders, it went to Tribeca, it's, it's been great. And through Alleyway, just through a joke from some friends, I got the idea of uh, his calling, just from the three girls, one of the actresses in the film. You know, they stand together and they go, they make a pose like Charlie's Angels, except they're the Jesus Angels. And just that little thing, and then it leads to the book. And everything, it seems, everything stems from me saying, um, giving my life over to Jesus, that things start building one by one, and my, and my creative juices are flowing, and, I, and uh, everything that I've ever wanted and dreamed of is, is coming true in his timing. Uh, praise God. Yeah. So from one thing, other things are opening up. Yes. And if you wouldn't have made that step, then this would have never happened. Right. Like his, his, you can trace back his calling through alleyway. You can trace back alleyway through Alpha, where I gave myself to Jesus. Uh, praise God. So you're fulfilling his calling by the book, His Calling. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, I, I hope my, the greatest um, review I've received was one woman who told me that she was in the middle of a crisis of faith where she wasn't really sure anymore and then uh, through reading my book she just found renewal in her faith and her beliefs that God is there and watching and helping us so which is the great when you influence someone's life that's the greatest uh, review you can ever get and through the help of Jesus I helped her renew her faith and her love for Jesus so even if that's the only person I needed to touch that that's what God wanted then it was worth doing it Amen. It was worth, you know, some writers out there and filmmakers, they use their talents not for God's glory, their own glory or mm -hmm. the enemy's glory, but you have decided in your life you're going to use your talents to glory God and touch it lives, even if it's one person. And I'm sure it's a lot more than that. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that must make you feel great to yes. be using your talents for the glory of God. Yes. Yes. It's, it's like I, I have some older friends who are like, because I used to write a lot of horror and gore and really violent stuff. They're like, well, aren't you going to do one of those again? And I was like, I, I don't think, so. unless I can pu put a message through it, 
through a uh, message to come to God or anything biblical, then the, I, I have no reason. I don't want to make anything unless there's a message. Well, praise God. Mm -hmm. And where can um, people who are watching this find your, your book? Uh, where can they find it? You can go to Amazon.com. If you do a search for Jason J. Cross, it comes out as number one. If you search for his calling, you have to go through pages. It's in there somewhere. But do a search on Jason J. Cross. And you can see our films at foursidesofcross.com, F-O-U-R, sidesofcross.com. Okay, well, I really thank you for this interview. Thank you, Vinny. And I know that God is going to open the doors for you to touch many more lives. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. God bless. Okay, bless.